Well, good Thursday afternoon, people. Start of a new episode of Martin's Koi Pond. And I'm still waiting for my slate. It's supposed to be delivered today. I had a text last night to say it was coming. Um, but it's about half past one in the afternoon now and still not here. So I'm not overly impressed as I ordered it Thursday or uh, Wednesday of last week. Um, got a little job to do now. New UV to put in there for the season. Um, I've not changed the UV before so I'm not exactly sure how to do it and guess what I can't find the instruction booklet so I'm gonna have to do my best to uh, work out how to do it um, I've turned the pump off that feeds the uh, pressure filter and I've turned the electrics off that feeds the pressure filter um, I'm using my another new mic but can you believe this I've lost the little black fluffy bit that goes over the mic to cut out the wind noise um, so yeah have to be mic number three now Milo's currently a cone head had a little operation on a very delicate place yesterday you wouldn't know the way he's running around had a couple of items removed shall we say oh and as you can see from the ground there I've built the soak away I don't know if I said that in the last video um, so that job's jobbed kept the wife happy but still waiting on my slate chippings dogs charging about like a lunatic I'm sure I wouldn't have been if I'd uh, been castrated yesterday, but there you go. Dogs are amazing creatures, bouncing back. Right, I'm right. changing this UV bulb. Well, good Friday morning. And as you can see, the, gr the I was going to call it granite again, the slate chippings have arrived. Now, I filmed a whole load of footage yesterday on changing the UV light in the uh, pressure filter and then stripping the pressure filter down, showing you how filthy it was inside, cleaning it and putting it all back together again. But unfortunately, the mic was making a horrible humming noise and so all that footage I had to bin which is a shame because I think it was made for some interesting observations and viewings um, I also filmed uh, me putting out this first lot of slate some of the some of that and again that was ruined by the humming microphone hopefully this what I'm recording at this second won't be humming I've bitten the bullet and paid a bit more money for a more expensive microphone to be delivered um, and then hopefully that will be the end of my microphone troubles so today's plan is to finish off doing the slate up to that corner and then put slate along that new slate along that back end and new slate along that end and that will hopefully be the end of this year's sort of upgrades on the pond it will be then set for the summer spring and summer um, unless something breaks of course which you can never account for so it's been a busy week off, you know I've been off work all week thank goodness and uh, I've cracked on with it so rather than waffle on I'll catch you in the next clip when hopefully all this slate will be finished 
Oh, good Friday afternoon. Welcome back to Martin's Koi Pond. And as you can see, the slate path is finished. And I'm absolutely ecstatic with how it looks. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so much so that I'm having a Friday afternoon beer and enjoying my pond. I will move the chair closer. I just put it there while I showed you the uh, the path. So I've also put more slate down this side and along the back and just love how it looks. Now the main purpose is to keep the lawn further from the pond so when we're cutting the grass we don't get clippings as many clippings anyway in the pond as we were last year and also it's very difficult to strim and make it look neat along the edge of the pond as was hopefully it'll be much easier with this black um, edging to sort of work to with the strimmer so yes i am absolutely ecstatic i have put the bird scarer back up and the slate here has covered all the wires made it look a lot neater fish are very happy um, I haven't took the pond temperature today but I did some water tests um, Wednesday and everything was pretty good sorry about that um, pH was a tad high 8 but the KH was 7 the GH was 12 and the fish seemed happy enough um, I would say my pH is high at 8 but that's probably down to the buffering of the oyster shell that I'm using. Now I've got less in the pond than I did have, or in the filter, in this filter. I've, I've reduced it from six to four bags to see if the, over time the uh, pH will drop a bit. I am only topping up with RO water for the rest of the summer, or spring and summer. So I do need that oyster shell to buffer, um, put some mineral in content into the water because uh, RO water is basically just dead water. I will also be adding um, on a fortnightly basis uh, Mediclay so that will keep minerals going into the water for the koi as well and, and the food I feed them also has uh, kasuri clay in it so they are getting some a good amount of uh, the important minerals that they need anyway I'll wind this one up here and I'll see you in the next clip well guys welcome back it's Saturday morning and I think it's time I started putting the medi-clay back in um, I haven't put any in for probably three months so I'm thinking I won't go straight in with a 200 gram dose. I'll, I'll start on 100 grams. Um, maybe put 100 grams in in two weeks time and then build up to 200 grams. Um, so I've got my bucket of Mediclay. The wife's best kitchen scales but she rarely watches these videos so she won't know. Bucket of pond water. Whisk to misc, mix it up and uh, oh, in the background i've got my ro device fill in the water change barrel for my fish tanks because i've done water changes on them today so my one-handed filming is gr rubbish at the best of times so i'm not gonna show you me measuring it up the next clip will be um medically in the water in the pond catch you then right welcome back and you can see I've put the Mediclay in and it's gradually making its way around the pond. 
So I've just 100 grams today. I just think the water could do with a bit of a polish. Um, 100 grams probably won't do much, but it'll just start off the process of me uh, adding it on a regular basis during the summer. So I will get back to you in the next clip. Welcome back. It's still Saturday. The uh, medic clay is now thoroughly mixed throughout the pond. And the fish are just ghost-like in the uh, in the water, but it will soon start to clear up. Now I've just making more preparations for the spring and summer. I've just added added the lights back to the pond, so there's one there, one here on this corner, and one over there on that corner. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to put the one over there that I had last year because it's kind of really busy over there and I, I don't think it will get much uh, sunlight to charge it. So I did contemplate putting one just here midway. I was going to see what the wife thinks to that idea. The little pergola thing on top of the um, shower, that's got a light in it and that has started to light up quite nicely. Uh, now the days are drawing out, so a little light on there for the summer as well. Anyway, catch you in the next clip. Well, welcome back, and good Sunday morning, and it's a glorious day. The sun is out, the... Uh, Water is crystal clear following the addition of the Mediclay yesterday. Dog's making a bit of noise with his head cone. That comes off on Tuesday, thank goodness. And fish are, as you can see, looking for some food. So let's give them some. I think it was some of the weather going after that. But yeah, I put the Mediclay in yesterday afternoon, or middle of the afternoon, and the pond has already cleared up beautifully. Hopefully the fish are appreciating it. Um, certainly, uh, Got their appetites. See the little pumpkin there in amongst all the big boys and girls trying to get pellets. You've noticed he's not the best of feeders. He comes up short all the time. He needs to learn to come up at the right spot to suck a pellet in. Maybe these pellets are perhaps a tad big for him, I don't know. But he does manage to take them. Or she or he. I've no idea how you sex koi, um, just by looking at them. I know there's a way if you take them out and look at the vents, but I'm not going to do any of that. I'm not that bothered about what sex my fish are. Just as long as they look good, that's all that matters to me. Right, well that winds up this week's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.